All right, we're talking a little more Gladiators football. Russ Monk is here, and boy, big win on Friday. You guys look great, and when you guys are home, there is no stopping you. Just tell me about Friday night and how great it was to clinch. It was really good, you know, especially playing Pittsburgh and being at home in front of all the fans. It was huge. I mean, the crowd came out, they came out and supported us, and we just pretty much took it over. I mean, it was, it was big. It was big for, you know, the team and for our push for the playoffs. Can you talk about just playing in Cleveland and, and, and what it's like to be a football player in Cleveland? No matter what team you're playing on, whether it's Pee Wee High School, <laughs> the Browns, or with the Gladiators, I mean, it's definitely something special. Yeah, it is. It's fun. Uh, the fans are, uh, you know, they come out every game. They, uh, you know, <laughs> when we battle through the losses, they're always there. We... When we battle through the wins, they're always there, too. So win or loss, the fans here in Cleveland are really good to us. You guys have such a great relationship with the fans, too. I mean, you're just sticking around signing autographs after the game. I just don't think that – I think that's what makes you guys special and unique is that you guys really do care about the fans. And, and you guys are, are Iron Men out there. This isn't million-dollar contracts you guys are playing for. Yeah, without the fans, I mean, the, we wouldn't have, you know, arena football. And having the fans being so close, it's, it's so much interaction between the players and the fans during the games. Afterwards, you know – <clears throat> pretty much without the fans or wouldn't be here in a football. Uh, just talk about the season and, the, and how you guys were able to, to get it done on Friday night. And, and the, go back to the original thing that you guys have been able to dominate at home where the road's been kind of, you know, up and down. Um, yeah, um, at home, I don't, I don't know what it is with us at home, but we just get so jacked up. I don't know if it's defending our own house and uh, on, the, on the road. You know, we started off pretty well, you know, going to Spokane and then going to Tampa Bay. And then we had a few road bumps, but... Hopefully, you know, we can keep on bringing in that attitude that we are playing at home or away. Talk about Kurt Rocco and how he's grown this season. I mean, it went from not playing to, you know, a, a great quarterback. Yeah, you know, I, I, I remember still when we were out in Spokane and uh, John Dutton got hurt and Kurt was, you know, kind of running around. Oh, is he going to be okay? Is he going to be all right? And Kurt stepped in there, you know. I mean, he had big shoes to fill, you know, John Dutton being a legend in this game. He's come a long way, you know, just seeing how many, you know, steps and bounds he's been taking all year. He's, he's, he's a good quarterback. He's going to be a great quarterback in this league. All right, you're a running back, but you guys have two unbelievable wide receivers in Red and Bergeron. What's mm -hmm. it like to play with those guys? Oh, you know, I know Red was here in 08, I believe, and uh, he just, he's just a good guy, you know, and I hang out with Troy quite a bit. I mean, they just, having their leadership in the huddle, you know, with a rookie quarterback and, you know, We've been kind of, you know, having a makeshift offensive line here with guys going here, guys getting hurt. You know, just with them being veterans and stuff was very, very helpful. And Bergeron's got NFL skills. There's no question. I, I mean, it would you? I, I'm not going to be surprised if we see him in the NFL this year. Oh yeah, he's 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 extremely good. How did when he first came here? You know, he, he did some time with Dallas last year. You know, can you tell the the difference between a guy that's played in the NFL and, and is able to step up because the game isn't exactly the same. Yeah, you know. With Troy, it is, <clears throat> I mean, you can tell that he's been there. You can tell that he, he knows what he's doing and, you know, on big catches. And, you know, you just know that he's going to come through. All right, Utah on Friday night, uh, you, you know you're in, but now you still got to maintain. Yeah, yeah, you know, we don't want to go out there and, you know, just kind of go through the motions. You know, we're going to go out there, we're going to win, you know, keep that, you know, keep that home winning streak, you know, everything going on and then get ready for that playoff game. So what's the key to winning in the playoffs? To getting to the, I mean, for, you got to get there on a high note. You guys got to yeah. win on Friday night. Right? Yep. Get that big W on Friday. Keep on riding that, you know, that roller coaster up on the wins and take that right into the playoffs. All that momentum. Uh, yeah, I want you to talk about one other thing too. Be, switching sides when you, you know, you're playing linebacker, you're playing running back. Uh, how difficult is that during a game? Because we, you know, it's tiring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially uh, back in the, you know, back in the old AFL, they had you had to play both ways. Right. And now you're, you're able to play, all right, well, I can just play fullback and then she would play linebacker or if he needs a breather. I mean, you know, you still get switched, you know, moved around or whatnot, but it's, it's pretty much, you know, just takes it on you. It does. It does. Hey, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank Best you very of luck. Much. We're looking forward to talking to you as the playoffs roll on. Thank you. Thank you.